Hey everyone, this is Chris O'Brien. I'm a drummer, composer, producer in Los Angeles. I'm going to show you Joey Sturgis' drum shots. I'm using them to trigger, kick, snare, and toms on a little mix I've got going here. So I'll play you what I've got, which is just a uh, kind of a shredder tune with uh, my live drums and, and uh, my friend Alan Byrne on bass and guitar. So let's just hear how it's sounding here without uh, drum shots. Okay, so let's solo the kick. So that's a nice sounding kick. I'm going to go to Trigger here, which is a Steven Slate product that we're going to use to access the Joey Sturgis drum shots. So you see there's a normalized and original um, section. So I'm going to go for the normalized ones. They'll be louder and more impactful. Um, and we'll just start auditioning some things here. So let me turn it on. And... So I've already got something pre-assigned there. I'm just going to stop this. So this is kick punch. Um, let's go with, uh, let's start at the top here. So kick blow. And you'll see it says blend, direct, overhead, and room. So the blend is going to give us uh, the direct overhead and room all blended together, which is a good, good way to start out. Okay, so there's that. Let me just mute the actual kick. So that's just the kick uh, sample from Joey Sturgis. There it is with the original kick. So I'm just going to solo the Joey Sturgis kicks to go through a few different uh, options. So just on this kick blow, we've got the blend. Let's go to just the direct. Here, how that is uh, sounding a little drier. If we want the overheads. That. And then the room. Okay. There's kick face. Let's try kick gut. I'm going with the blends because I think that's a good overall uh, place to start. Um, it's nice having the direct overhead in rooms if you want to actually um, do your own blend. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good one. Nice bottom end on that one. Uh, and then kick punch, which I sort of predetermined works good with this track. So I'll put the original kick back in. So kick sounded good. So let's go to the snare now. This is just the Joey Sturgis samples now. Everything else muted. So again, we've got the, the blend, direct, overhead, and room. We're hearing a direct snare slap right now. Let's audition a few others here. Snare smack. And again, I'm going to go with the blends because I think uh, I trust these blends as being pretty much what I would want to have anyway. With the direct overhead and room. Snare smash sounds good. Let's try snare smash. Oh, that's mighty mighty. And snare spank. Yeah, man. Uh, and thick C. All right. Let's go with that. I'll put my snare back in. That seems to be working well. Keep in mind these are one-shot samples, meaning the higher velocities of your original tracks are what you want to be using this. That worked okay there in that snare fill, but any ghosting or anything like that, you wouldn't want any lower velocities triggering this. It wouldn't sound natural. So we'll go to toms now. So you can hear those toms sounding good there, those original ones, but not as in your face. All right. So let's solo the Joey Sturgis toms and you can hear that's doing some nice in your face right there there you go so check that out let's take one more time just raw no Joey Sturgis drum samples okay and just Joey's 
samples here on that fill. All right, rocking. So, toms, snares, kicks, good selection of stuff here. Um, you can use this trigger plugin or any other method that you use to trigger in your DAW. And uh, let me just play a little bit of this and you'll hear a little on and off as the track's going. Kick, snare, and tom. This is just kick, snare. Right now, I'll fast forward here to where there's some tom action go. Yeah. Let's let it play through, and I'll solo on and off um, the Joey Sturgis drum shots. Um with the raw drums. Here we go. Okay, so that's everything. That's without the Joe Sturgis drum shots on the kick and snare. Put the drums and kick back in. There's the toms with it as well. I'll just solo the drums. So there's the drums with the kick and snare being triggered. That's off. With just raw drums. And listen to the impact that's adding to this mix. That's just the, well, I'm not doing anything other than just triggering the kick and snare without any additional effects. So um, I highly suggest you check this out. There's a lot of great stuff here. What a great offering. I hope you have fun with this and uh, hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, keep rocking. Cheers.